Hey guys, welcome to the channel and if you're new here, please consider liking and subscribing. And this week we're going to be going over week number seven. Sure, we're almost there, another week to go and then another week and then it's the race already. But yeah, let's go over week number seven and what happened and the stats. So let's do this thing. So if we look at week number seven, not very impressive at all, um, although I am starting to taper now. I must say my legs are absolutely dead when I've got to really put it on the power. It's, uh, it's pretty hard going. So uh, obviously I had to shuffle things around a little bit. It used to be uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, indoor cycling, and then Saturday, Sunday was um, outdoors, but obviously with the public holiday and Eastern stuff, I moved things around and uh, something else had set me back a little bit. Uh, on the Epic, my seat broke, so here's the seat that broke, and I've actually got a, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's uh, snapped right over there at the bend, uh, like that, got a separate little video up there about that, and uh, yeah, it's actually the second one that snapped like this, so maybe it's time for, this is the comp version, so maybe the expert or I don't know if uh, carbon fiber will actually be able to hold it. And I think it's due to how many hours that are actually spent on the bike and riding on uh, gravel roads that are very corrugated and lots of vibrations and that. And uh, I think it just causes a stress point at that point because this is the second one that's uh, actually broken exactly at that point. The rails don't bend or break or they do break but it doesn't bend or anything it just snaps at that point there and I think it's just fatigue because obviously that's a weak point where it's been bent during manufacturing and then it uh, snaps off there so as I was saying uh, change things around a little bit this week so having a look at Tuesday uh, one hour ride indoor ride and uh, zone one average heart rate of 97 come Wednesday also an indoor ride um, one hour, zone one and two, average heart rate of 99, although I did try and introduce a little bit more intensity here, just to uh, let the body know it's got to work a little bit there, so you can see a little bit of interval training that was happening there. On Friday, <clears throat> public holiday, I used this opportunity to uh, ride outside, so two hours 20, and zone one to five, and mostly in zone three, and uh, yeah, the increased intensity, it's good. So in other, obviously in a taper week, you don't want it to stop completely. You want to uh, reduce the amount of hours, but increase the intensity you're going to do. An average heartbeat of 130. And it's during this ride that uh, my saddle broke. Come Saturday, after the saddle uh, broke, obviously I had to use that time to go see if I could source another saddle, but I was unsuccessful. So I did an indoor ride another one hour 30 and zone one and two an average heart rate of 99 and then on sunday went outside again took the camber with this time and uh, two hours and i worked zone one to five and mostly in zone two with an average heart rate of 115 and i must just say the difference between the camber and the epic is quite huge and once you've been riding that bike for a while and then going over to the camber again, it's quite a big adjustment because the camber almost feels like you're bouncing with a suspension that's not locking out every time. And it's a lot heavier and a lot more difficult to pedal, so it's really a good workout. And I think that's why my legs are feeling absolutely trashed at the moment. So then if you look at the weak stats, uh, you can obviously see it's come down quite a lot because of the tapering. So 7 hours 52, I'm just going to call it 8 hours. And the distance of 193 almost made the 200, but I'm happy with that. And then uh, coming up next week, another taper week. And I was supposed to ride now on Monday, public holiday. I'm not going to do that. I'm listening to my body now because my body's feeling a bit tired and you don't want to dig yourself a hole. Like I said before, you don't want to rock up on the starting line and now you've got... Uh, nothing to give there so i'm gonna rest on monday and tuesday ride wednesday and then see how the rest of the week pans out which i'll let you know obviously in the last uh, entry of the diary before the race 
So guys, if you have any comments, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.